G'day everyone, Ali here. I'm going to do a baby card today. Well, it's a baby shower card and the mum-to-be knows what she's having. So she's having a little girl. So I've got my Distress inks here and I haven't used my Distress inks for ages. I normally go to my Distress Oxides. But I wanted to use these because I'm not going to want that distressed look as such. So these would be pretty good to use. I've actually got a stupendous background stamp here. Now I'm not going to use it as a background. I actually want to cut some of these out using my bigger alphabet dies here to create the word baby on the front of the card. So that'll be pretty cool. And I've got this background stamp here and it's all umbrellas because it's a baby shower card. So I'm going to get started. Now first of all what I want to do is I'm going to do the umbrellas in the lighter pink which is spun silver and the picked raspberry is going to be for the stupendous one here. I'm also going to be using my clear embossing powder so this is the ranges one that I always use. Let's get started. Now the card that I've got here is just plain white cardstock and it measures 10 and a half to 15 centimeters. So this will be cut down. So I'm not too bothered about the card size as long as this fits in that out of the wrapper. Now, as you can see, I haven't used this one before. So I'm going to just peel that off now I think I got this one from Aliexpress and if I can find it on Aliexpress I'll link it over on my website with all the other supplies that I will be using today now let's just pop that on the card there because I do want to just use my magnets just to pinch down each side here so just in case the stamp doesn't stamp first time round so uh, normally I don't buy stamps from Aliexpress anymore um, I find that they don't last and I now am supporting those people where the money should be going to so instead of the knockoffs. Now I am using my stamping platform here and because it's a silicon one I need to just make sure that I'm on the clear side so I don't know if you can actually see that. So it's on the clear side not the rubber side because the rubber stamps are thicker and accommodates the rubber. Okay. So that's all there. Now why I'm using Distress inks is because I want it to stay wet a little bit longer. So we'll just get this ready. And all I'm going to do is now use these for ages so I'm just going to do a little bit at a time actually just to see because I do want this to be subtle yep just wasn't sure if the ink pad was dry or not so it's not we're all good to go As you can see, it's inking up okay. Now another reason why I don't like Aliexpress anymore is I get this. So look, they're good for beginners. Uh, so if you are a beginner, uh, yeah, it might, you know, you might like to go over and have a look. There you go, that's a bit better impression. But I find with the uh, branded items or stamps 
they actually do stamp a bit better. Okay, so that's great. Now, and I find I like this sort of container because I don't have to empty it out. <laughs> I'm a little bit lazy like that, but hey, whatever works for you. So I'm just going to set that aside because I'm not going to heat set it just yet. Just while I've got everything out, I'm just going to do this one here as well. Just with the baby wipe, I'm just going to just clean that off. I always make sure that my stamps are always clean just for the next time I use it. Now you may have noticed also that I now have a different uh, glass mat. So I actually bought the tonic glass mat because it's in centimeters. <laughs> so, um, the black one's really good uh, if you are in inches. Um, and not working with cards, but today I'm working with cards. So I find that this one's really good because down here in Australia, we are metric measurements. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I do like working on a metric glass plate when I am creating cards. Now, let me see. I don't think I have ever... Oh yes, I was going to say, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I actually have ever taken the plastic thing off here. So I might just leave that on because this is a rubber one and I have used this before. I know that it will do a nice impression. My only thing is I don't know if it is going to be this ink. Although I can see the ink starting to come through is good and don't forget I'm actually going to be cutting these out of alphabet dies as well so let's make sure that's all inked up looks pretty nice and juicy are good quality dies these I have used this one quite a few times when I have people come to me going can you make me a baby card please so it is a bit smaller but just remembering that I don't need all of this covering because I will cut it out okay As you can see, it's given a good uh, stamping out as well. So I'll just pop that aside. So I'll just... Okay. Now I think what I might do is, I might just get my... I might get these actually and I might just colour some of these in just before I die cut out so I'm just using a fine water brush here and this is great using with the scribble sticks so I just pick up some colour and then I can just colour in now remember I actually used some VersaFine black onyx ink and some clear embossing powder and heat embossed so this is really good for when you actually colour in because the embossing powder that's been heated up will help the colour stay within the lines
So just remembering that these will be cut out as well. So that's all done. I'm not going to do anything with the background here just yet. So with my dies, I have got alphabet dies here. I've got numbers, the symbols, but I've also got the alphabet ones. I will actually, so I need the, let's have a look, and these are five centimetre ones, so these are really, really good. I love these dies, and I got these ones off AliExpress, so, okay. I'm just going to go to my big shot and I'll go and cut this out so I'll be right back okay so I've cut all these out and I did want some of the little sayings coming out as well so let's, uh, be. let's have a look Welcome, it's good. And these only, uh, these dies, this is only one pass through the big shot as well, so it does cut out really well. Okay, and little toes there. Now, seeing I've done that, I think this is really going to be lost on the background. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to get a pink pen to go around the outside, I think. So I've got a couple of pinks here. One's just a normal felt pen, and then I've got this pigment marker I've never used it so I don't know how it's going to look but I'll get my scrap here and if I just I'm just testing it first just before I do it so that's that one and let's have a look at this one So yeah, I think the normal felt pen I'll use. Now what I'm going to do is just go round. Now I am going to go and do this off camera because I do take my time and I don't want to make any boo-boo, so I'll be right back. So I'm just going to pop this card together. Now I do have some foam squares here because I do want to pop this up on the card so I'll just fast forward this just want to put these on now I restamped the background stamp because I realized that I had picked up picked raspberry instead of the spun sugar in the earlier part of the video so I didn't video the part of redoing the background so I thought that would be a little bit boring but you'll see that there is a little bit of a change with the color in the background So I have put the stickers on the back, the foam tape, okay, so they will actually pop off a little bit better. I've got a card base here and this is measuring 10 and a half by 15, okay, but this here is a little bit bigger so I'm just going to cut it down to size and how I do this is I just eyeball it. <laughs> So, it doesn't have to be perfect. Oops. So I do get rid of a lot of my perfection sort of stuff in card making. I just eyeball stuff. So. 
so that will fit on nicely now there is just a little bit of a edge here and I'll just trim that off I think um, a little later now before I stick this on I do want to make sure that this is going to fit my card now I do need to trim it a bit so just eyeballing it again I will just trim it so just mark that And that's why I don't stick my die cuts down just yet because I do want to make that even on the card so I'll just get the blending tool and just blend that back just like so there you go so that's great I'm just going to put my card together Now when I do pop my cards down, especially when I'm layering like this, I'll just undo two of the corners of the cards, so the opposite directions of the cards because I want it layering on this one evenly. So and once again I just eyeball it and I find that this is just an easy way of matching it up so it doesn't matter which way but this here these are what these corners here is what I use to make sure that they're nice and even and once these are even then I can actually stick these ones down and then just a matter of just releasing it there you go so that's good now I'm just going to make sure this is up the right way Nothing worse than having that up the wrong way. I'll just release. And this here is a ceramic tool. This one, I did ceramics years and years and years ago. And well, I haven't done it, I don't know, for over 30 years. So, but this tool does come in handy because it's nice and sharp uh, as well. Especially picking off the back of the tape like this okay so making sure that's up the right way once again just using the corners that haven't been released to make sure it's nice and even just like so just get rid of those tapes there you go so that's done and now I'm just going to just I'm just carefully using my tool again I find this is really good pick off the back strips so I really need to be careful when I'm actually putting these down because once they're down they're down make sure it's nice and straight as well that one, do this one. There you go and 
just going to just finish it off, I think. Let's see. Got some Nouveau drops here in pink, so. Okay. And I'm just going to randomly put them around. I like an even amount, so that's four. <laughs> I might put another one just down here. There you go. And that's my baby card for that one. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you have, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell in the bottom right-hand corner. And until next time, happy crafting. See ya.